आर आर काबेल प्रेजेंट शॉर्ट सर्किट से सुरक्षा पावर्ड बाय न्यूज 18 नेटवर्क वाइल पी वी सी एंड फ्लेक्सीबल वायर आर स्टिल द फर्स्ट चॉइस इन इंडिया आयरलैंड रिजर्व द फर्स्ट स्पॉट टू बैन पी वी सी वायर एंड केबल्स कंप्लीटली कंट्रीज लाइक द यू के आर डिबेटिंग ओवर द यूज ऑफ इनफीरियर मटीरियल सेफ्टी गाइडलाइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजिकल एडवांसमेंट्स पोस्ट द लंडन फायर एक्सीडेंट इन दिस सिचुएशन लो स्मोक जीरो हेलोजन वायर्स आर सीमिंगली बिकमिंग द फ्यूचर ऑन द ग्लोबल प्लेटफॉर्म so wire work they have two components one is conductor second is insulation so in india the low smoke zero halogen wire is available now and in india also that nbc has came with their in high rise building and commercial they need to go low smoke zero halogen but how many people know this why low smoke zero halogen because people died not because of fire but because of smoke see reason of smoke is maximum short circuit reason of death or wealth loss both human loss and wealth loss because of smoke when take fire take place because of smoke you are unable to see your exit from where you to go and it's difficult to breathing so when you are unable to you don't know how to go so place like upa theater or like restaurant there is stamping it happen if you you only three four people if somebody wants to escape you he don't know where you are so smoke he cannot enter into save you and you want to go out you cannot go out. so smoke is a biggest challenge so not only in electrical uh, like pvc conduit pipe wire or anything in house pvc you should not use it because pvc is a dark smoke corrosive toxic the other side of the coin is high rise buildings where more than the home owners developers and consultants play the major role in designing and choosing the right material across plumbing to electrical wirings to fire safety the cost effective choice being aluminium wires and cables the safety consideration almost becomes bare minimum they focus on first of all how much requirement will be there what how much uh, the connection load factor calculating this choose the size of cable now ideally what they should focus on the safety also and long because high rise building and commercial building we need to understand the life of any building is almost 100 years and what will be future requirement according to this rules like in high rise building and commercial building world by nowadays even in india so it's so changing from their cable to their shifting to bus duct so then some people call bus duct bus way bus riser which is the most safest among any cable if you look at the high rise building commercial building it has to be bus duct on the outside area in terms of wire now india also that nbc has come with the new rules they need to have a class 2 conductor low smoke zero halogen wire and now fire survival cable has to be now copper so these are major uh, you need a uh, connections from ground to building building to high rise building then inside and the fire survival cable fire alarm cable so there are three four categories of wire cable are there developer and concern they should look into really which products companies are making very good quality wire which are the company was not compromising on quality so they should focus on that and the size considering the average age of a building being close to 70 years the reliability of the substance behind walls is as important as the material used in beautifying the house interiors the erosion on the coating of wires in old buildings poor maintenance of underground fittings and fewer emergency equipment installations than required such as fire alarms extinguishers and smoke detectors are critical reasons behind everyday breaking news of massive fires in commercial properties so i go to what advice would you give to our consumers and builders to ensure they prioritize wire safety in their projects in india our country neither builders neither contractor consultants they are very much focus on safety because we have been living in this country for the so many years without safety also we can very successful but now the way electrical uses gone up previously in one house how many wires were there how many plugs were there in common house one tube light one fan that time is gone now 
because we are surrounded with electrical wires and bundles in any house. So now its focus is required. The biggest challenge is because this product goes behind the wall. And so nobody take an interest and nobody serious about this. Builders, I request, don't squeeze contractor for the prices more. And rather than uh, when you're negotiating, talk on quality parameter, talk, talk on which product they will use, and which are for the safety purpose. Now, in every city, even in place like Baroda, even place like Indore, or Tai 2, Tai 3 city also, the high-rise buildings are coming. And in high-rise building, more high-rise, you need more precaution of safety. So it has to be low smoke, zero virgin wire, right size of conductor. So if you don't have right kind of product, then chance of short circuit, short circuit then fire, and then smoke. So smoke is the biggest dangerous thing in life. People, we as a headline, we read that people die because of fire, but people die because of smoke. But it's a, nobody understanding the difference between the smoke and fire. So in my opinion, whichever the product, not only wire and cable I'm talking, but as a, because since I know wire guru as electrical, but plumbing is also there, fire products, there are three, four products are there, where safety is required and we should be very much focused as a builder, as a consultant, as a contractor, and as a consumer all together. Remembering the horrifying Upahar case where more than 105 people died due to suffocation and unsuccessful evacuation or the blazing fire outrage in ESIC Hospital Mumbai case, where later in the investigation it was revealed that no safety measures were adopted in the hospital building, the substantial number of deaths and damage is soaring. Proper legislative provisions are required to prevent such casualties and curb the graph of short-circuit fires. So, I would like to give a good example. See, in the UK, in London, properly, central London, in high-rise building, one fire took place. Before that, in the UK also, the inferior material, not like in India, but then few inferior materials were there. Just because of one fire, the question is in Parliament. Government made an immediate committee. They confiscated all the material, right? And now they in high-rise building, they change the law. They cannot use this PVC wire or FRS wire. It has to be low smoke resistant wire. In particular size of building, they need to use bus duct. So they change all the law. In India, in 1997, in Upar Theatre, 105 people died. And everyone knows they died because of smoke. And still, now many multiplex are coming. We know that that's a, almost in India, every month you got new multiplex. But did the law change? No. Still, they use PVC wire. Again, sometimes fire will take place, people die. In Amri Hospital, people die because of smoke. Does all the hospitals they change the law? No. You can use anything. In coaching classes, so wherever the public is there, see, first of all, you should have a smoke-free everything, not only wire I'm telling you. Everything should be smoke-free. Because when people, uh, commercial places, uh, density of people is very high. Like in house, you can have 1,000 square feet or 10,000 square feet. You'll have four people, eight people, 10 people. But in office, average is 40 square feet, one people are sitting. It is the average. In public places like theater, public places like hospital, public places like government offices, or anywhere. And first of all, we need to understand there is not much a cost difference there. So it's just a simple mindset because Chalega is the biggest challenge in our India. Number two, we if product is going behind the wall, so we don't focus at all. And whenever somebody appoints the electrical contractor or electric electrician, they try to excuse him anything. India being the largest growing economy and its immensely growing infrastructure has driven downside by being non-environmentally friendly and life-threatening over the last period. Now, it is time that a safer ecosystem that also minimizes electrical imperilment takes the place of the PVC-infused arteries and veins of the lifeline of our dream houses. As a step towards a greener and shielded future, Delhi Metro has recently made some mandatory changes to their electrical standards. 
They are now phasing out the PVC wires and installing halogen-free low-smoke cables across stations. A nod to change here is eminent and necessary. Most of the awareness is required and internal change we need because we are too much focused as a human being or as a businessman or if I am making my own house or I am making as a builder, developer, seller, so I would like to showcase what is good looking from outside. So what I say, believe that unless until you are not inner changes there, external changes of no use. If you are not inner side healthy, how beautiful you are, how handsome you are, it's of no use. So rather than focus on exterior or outsider, we should focus into more of more inner. Never compromise on safety. Electrical products are a very sensitive products. This may make a loss of your family, yourself, your wealth, all together. With our next episode talking about RR Kabil and their flagship products, we will delve deep into the manufacturing process of how low smoke zero halogen wires at their Vadodara plant. Learning the complex process of wire making, different types of metal uses, switch gears and more. We will be going on a sparkful journey with our wire guru, Mr. Kapra, of their ambition of providing short circuit se suraksha. Till then, stay tuned. RR Kabel presents Short Circuit Se Suraksha, powered by News 18 Networks. Focus. Ideate. Innovate. Enable.